congratulations, first okay. of all, uh, on an incredible story. Uh, and a story that, if I'm right, is, is kind of your story. How much of it is your story? <laughs> um, the, uh, yeah, too much. I think, uh, <laughs> I think uh, yeah, I mean, I, I was a jazz drummer in a sort of competitive um, uh, ensemble. In my case, it was high school. Um, but it was sort of a special kind of high school program that was modeled after sort of conservatory programs and, and with a very sort of tough teacher and a very kind of cutthroat sort of atmosphere. So I just remember, I guess to me, the, if the movie was about anything, it was about the sort of fear that you feel as a musician in that, in that circumstance and how antithetical that seems to art, you know, that you think of art and especially jazz as something that should be freeing and, and liberating and, um, something where you're kind of communicating emotionally with people. Um, and and then it turns into it, but at the level of education, at the level of sort of raw honing of technique, before you can access, you know, sort of before you can be able to improvise, before you can be able to do a lot of the things that we more normally associate with jazz, there is this element of utter rigor and utter discipline and almost military hardship that I just don't think we kind of know enough about or see enough about in movies about musicians. I think there's this idea that you kind of roll out of bed and you, mm. um, and suddenly you're kind of improvising great solos and and, um, and I don't think we see enough movies about practice. So um, so that kind of, that sort of aspect of it and the, and the sort of fear that comes from not mastering that kind of technique is what I kind of wanted to hone in on. You mentioned the word fear there yeah. and the gentleman yeah. sat next to you. <laughs> 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 uh, Injects fear quite brilliantly. <laughs> uh, congratulations. I mean, Fletcher, what, what, what a character. Um, what, 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 what do you think drives him? What's his drive? Uh, passion and uh, uh, for the music and, and utter perfectionism uh, and uh, complete single-mindedness of uh, pursuit of that goal. Human collateral damage notwithstanding. <laughs> Um, in terms of kind of preparing for the role, um, what did that involve for you? Uh, did, did you kind of seek out, you know, th those types of individuals who, who are driven by, by that perfection in a teaching stance? Or uh, Honestly, uh, the preparation that I had to do for the role was just learning the music. Uh, uh, as far as playing the character, it was all there on the page. And... Um, and I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't feel the need to to look outside of of what Damien had written uh, and and what was in me to uh, to pull it off the page for for any kind of uh, of inspiration. And then uh, and then just uh, sort of hit the deck running with this guy and uh, and we miles. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Did our thing, and <laughs> <laughs> um, and Miles, you were uh, uh, you were you drummed from the age of fifteen as well, which which stood you in good stead. But you had to learn a whole other discipline for this. Yeah, I I played uh, I played drums since I was like fifteen. And my mm -hmm. family kind of both me and my older sisters we all kind of played instruments. I started with piano, and then I played I actually played saxophone in jazz band in middle school and high school. That was kind of. So my any knowledge I had of jazz music was, was just playing alto saxophone, and, and I only played that up until sophomore year, and then I you know, started playing baseball, other stuff. But uh, but yeah, with drumming, I drummed in, in some rock bands. I just asked for a drum kit when I was like 15. My parents were, you know, kind enough to, to buy me one, and and I just started playing with you know my buddies who played guitar kind of, and we covered like Green Day and <laughs> yeah. you know stuff like that, and and. Uh, you know, but I've o I've always taken my drum kit with me, and but I'd I'd never taken any kind of lessons for it. So mm. it was a whole, you know, it was great. I would, when I was first starting to get these lessons, it was one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, that's so much easier to do it that way. I've been doing it this other way. It's you know that's wrong, and uh, so I just started taking jazz lessons like four hours a day, three days a week, with Damien kind of at first, and then the kid who plays Carl in the film is this guy Nathan Lang, and he's a, he's a very good drummer, and so he was kind of my teacher and. And just teaching me, you know, the traditional, you know, traditional kind of, you know, jazz playing and how to hold this stick. And it was very f basic at first. Literally, mm -hmm. like, this is how you hold the stick. And this is how you hit the snare drum. Starting again. And even that is, like, just this motion right here. Damien would have me practicing this just <laughs> for hours on you my doing that, thigh. And yeah. then JK doing that. It's kind of like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Ooh, that's the tip. Ooh. <laughs> 
feet of corn <laughs> shoots through yeah. me when he does yeah. that. <laughs> um, and am I right in thinking as well that with the with the practice scenes that, that you were filming, that the Damien wouldn't shout cut on it. He would kind of almost keep you going until you kind of reach that point of exhaustion. Yeah, I guess that's a question for Damien. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me sound so tyrannical. I, uh, <laughs> um, no, I think that's that's just one scene that we're talking that Miles My, <laughs> okay. My, likes to Miles likes to uh, give me grief for. Um, it is true though. That, I mean, we shot the movie so quickly that when you when you kind of you know, I mean, w w when you look at Miles on screen, it's, uh, it's, you know, he's not sort of acting exhausted. I mean, there's real, <laughs> there's real sort of exhaustion that, um, you know, maybe was the the one weird benefit of having such a, such a kind of, uh, um, such a tight schedule and such mm. an unrealistic schedule in a way. Time to get this out there. Nineteen days for <laughs> the whole shoot. Ooh. Wow. Did that help? Sorry, I will get to your questions in just one second. Did, 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 did that help? Do you think that kind well of I mean added something to the, to just the just intensity the of the film? That's yeah, I mean, I think the only way it maybe helped was, again, with that kind of uh, emotionality. That said, I think, you know, you can always use more time. And certainly Miles and JK are both good enough actors that they don't need to not sleep to <laughs> to act sleepy, you know? So it's... it's <laughs> to future it's directors out there, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> 